let us discuss about the organization of myosin 2 in filaments isolated from skeletal muscle in skeletal muscle myosin 2 assembles into bipolar thick filaments these bipolar thick filaments contain hundreds of individual myosin 2 with opposite orientations in each half of the bipolar filament in bipolar filaments the tails form the shaft of the filament with exposed head bipolar filaments are extracted with high salt and atp as a result bipolar filament disassembles into individual myosin 2 molecules structurally myosin 2 molecule is divided into three regions they are head neck and tail myosin 2 molecules consist of two identical heavy chains and four light chains out of these four light chains two are regulatory light chains and two are essential light chains this is the region in which two light chains associate with the neck region of each heavy chain the tail of the heavy chains form a coiled coil to dimerize in presence of chymotrypsin myosin 2 undergoes limited proteolytic cleavage to produce hmm or a heavy marrow myosin and lmm or light marrow myosin in presence of papain hmm undergoes limited proteolytic cleavage to produce s1 or subfragment 1 motor domain and s2 or subfragment 2 the s1 fragment of myosin 2 consists of the head domain and neck domain the s2 and lmm regions make up the tail domain of myosin 2 now some important points the soluble myosin has atpase activity so it can power movements by hydrolysis of atp intrinsic atpase activity of myosin resides in the s1 fragment the presence of filamentous actin greatly enhances the atpase activity of the s1 fragment so we can say that s1 fragment has an actin activated atpase activity the s1 fragments of all myosins so actin activated atpase activity please like subscribe and share